Hi everyone, it's Dr. Romney. Welcome back to the 30 Days of Narcissism. Thanks to our new subscribers. And if you aren't a subscriber yet, please click on the bell below and you'll get notifications every time I post a new video, especially in this month of the 30 Days of Narcissism. Today, we're going to be talking about infidelity. It is one of the most uncomfortable things that can happen in a relationship and it's definitely a narcissist signature move. Why do narcissists cheat? Well, because many times in an intimate relationship, their existing supply gets stale and they want to mix it up. The interesting thing is they want, they often want to keep the person they're in a relationship with because they're getting one set of needs met there. And then they want something else. They want novelty. They want excitement, whatever it may be. And they'll start doing that. And it also becomes a new source of narcissistic supply for them and excitement and all the things that a narcissist, you know, which who is a real reward seeker is seeking. They will come up with all kinds of complex rationalizations for their infidelity. We're not having as much sex as we once did. You don't pay as much attention to me. Sometimes I don't even try to do that. In the most extreme examples, when we're talking about someone who's more malignantly and severely narcissistic, they'll often sometimes believe it's their right. Like, listen, I make all the money. You know what? I just need this. It doesn't affect you. I come back, I provide. And they'll really provide it and they'll say that without a, any sense of guile on their face. They'll actually think it's okay and uh, expect you to think it's okay. Infidelity is a very complicated issue in anyone who works in the relationship space. And I'm really talking about infidelity as a dynamic of narcissism right now, not about infidelity in general. When we view it as a narcissistic dynamic, so many people get devastated because as a rule, narcissistic relationships leave people feeling like they're already sideways. People in narcissistic relationships always feel like they're not enough that they need to be doing something more, that the attention of their partner is slipping. You always feel like you're about to be discarded because that's often what narcissists do. They discard old supply in favor of new supply. So you're always a little bit off balance. And even when you feel like you're getting it all right, the narcissist still may cheat on you. A really tricky issue is that sometimes people will feel like, gosh, our relationship's going really well. Then they come to find out that the narcissist is cheating. In some ways, that cheating, because that narcissist is getting this whole new source of supply, might actually make your grumpy narcissist into someone a bit more cheerful and lead you to believe that your relationship is going better. So it can feel very devastating to say, just when I think things were going better, I come to find out that there was actually another relationship on the side. Narcissistic patterns can get into all kinds of complex cheating kinds of arrangements, not only potentially having a mistress outside of a marriage, but even cheating on the mistress with somebody else. Because the need for narcissistic supply, in some ways, once they start getting some, they want more and more and more. Sex is a great place to get it. It's, it can be for a narcissist a place of power, a place of domination, a place of space of secrecy, a place of validation seeking. So you get a lot of needs met. And when you're cheating, it also adds in that sort of sense of excitement or can be perhaps even getting away with something while still being able to put the image out to the world of being a family person and having a life that looks a very specific kind of way. One might wonder, does this pa pattern have anything to do with other relationships in my life? It might. If you had a narcissistic parent, it's quite conceivable that there might have been infidelity in your family of origin, which may have really destabilized things in your family. Um, it's a it's a painful pattern to have a, a breach of trust in other kinds of relationships. But infidelity is a very specific kind of a, a pattern where there is a presumption of sexual monogamy or relationship commitment and that contract, as it were, that promise gets broken. People who have been cheated upon report all kinds of psychological issues in the fallout, a sense of betrayal, a sense of shame, um, depression, anxiety, sleeplessness, helplessness, hopelessness. It really takes a toll on the person who's cheated on. So at the very core of it, in many ways, infidelity really speaks to a grandiosity that somehow you're clever enough to get away with this. And that's probably why we often do see infidelity in narcissistic relationships. They think they, they, they think they deserve it. They think they can get away with it. 
and they don't really stop to think about how it's affecting the other person. Thanks again for tuning in. Please subscribe, click the bell. You'll get notifications every time we post a new video. And please also go to Amazon, check out my new book. It's called, Don't You Know Who I Am? How to Stay Sane in an Era of Narcissism, Entitlement, and Incivility. It's really a survival manual for the 21st century. No matter how many narcissists you have in your life, it'll really help you sort of get to the core of why they are the way they are and what you can do about it. If you pre-order it and you want me to send you a handwritten letter and you stick it in that book there, go ahead and follow the directions below. Just show us that you pre-ordered the book and we'll be able to take, we'll be able to send you that out um, as soon as possible. Thanks so much.